In reality, a woman getting hit is a terrible thing, but in video games, anything goes. And even though most of the time it's all about men getting punched out, today I count down the top 10 video games where a woman gets punched in the face. Second Opinion Games Number 10, the wrestling video games, preferably the ones that are all women, because it's just women punching other women, and that's pretty sexy. Just like Rumble Roses here, they're all super hot. Of course, you could put in any of your favorite WWF, WCW, or ECW. I'm not even sure what all the letters are here. Or maybe you could just go all the way back in time to Sega's game called Body Slam, where these chunky girls seem to punch each other and not do much of anything else. Man, the early days of Sega were wild. Number nine, DJ Boy. This is an early arcade classic beat em up where a guy just wants to dance and listen to his sweet tunes. However, his boombox was stolen and he'll do anything to get him back. So, what is the girl here that needs to be punched out so badly? Well, how about this overweight middle aged Lizzo character as she jumps down and does karate moves, dancing all around, punching out these juvenile children? This this is completely absurd. Not to mention, these kids must have been really nasty because people even throw sticks of dynamite at them. Heck, the Sega Genesis also has Lizzo here in all of her glory, and man, does she really hate these small children. Number 8, 007 Goldeneye. If you go back and play this game on Nintendo 64, you're going to be blown by the fact that you're not so much a secret agent and more a Rambo-style character going around mowing everyone down, even sniping some poor dude in the head that just happens to be taking a crap on the toilet. Man, this is just sick. And as you play through the game, well, eventually you'll come to a spot where you have to work with Natasha in a terrible AI body, which just makes you want to turn the game on death mode, where you turn on slappers, find her, and put her in a corner and just smack the ebbing loving crap out of her. Just like James Bond does in all of his movies. Man, Sean Connery really was the very best James Bond. Number seven, hit the... A uh, female dog, we'll say. This game was an online game where you could just play in browser as you slap some German-speaking girl who happens to be quite attractive. She ends up swearing at you and you keep on beating her down. I know this is actually supposed to be an anti-violence style video game teaching you how terrible it is to hit your girl, but boy, does this ever get me going. And I really love smacking the crap out of her. And she seems to really be into it too, so... Is it really that bad? This is really hard to track down now, so if you do, please send me a link. I can't not wait to play it again. Number six, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. In Street Fighter 2, of course, you had Chun-Li, and she really definitely felt out of place. However, she seemed to really be able to hold her own. Instead, we probably should focus more on Sonya Blade in the Mortal Kombat series, because when you're going up against ninjas that can freeze you and rip your skull and spinal column out, why would you just send a girl that just came straight from the gym wearing her green leotard, and the only thing she could do is some type of weird leg whip which I don't think could really hurt anyone that bad. She also has a hidden talent of having such terrible breath that she could kill you just by blowing it at you and not just kill you rip off all of your skin and flesh too. Man, maybe she is dangerous after all. Either way, I can't wait to punch her in the face. Heck, Mortal Kombat 2 knew this. She seems to be locked in chains, and even the mutant girls have a hard time keeping up with the guys in this game. Number 5, Grand Theft Auto 3, a game franchise pretty much designed around stealing cars and picking up prostitutes, hookers, or maybe even my ex-girlfriend. Whatever you want to call them, you want to pick them up, drive them someplace, and then take them out and just beat the Having loving crap out of them. I remember going over to a couple of friends' houses and then just having them do nothing for hours except finding new ways to beat up the women in this video game. Yes, it was a simpler time back then, and boy, did we ever love it. Heck, some of the friends were even girls that would do the exact same thing to other girls, so there's no misogyny here whatsoever. It turns out everyone loves beating up prostitutes. 
Number four, let's get ready to rumble with Mr. President as he does what he does best, and that is punch a whole lot of women. And boy, is it ever satisfying because the Mr. President really lays down a solid KO punch. And for a bonus, you could even fight as Mrs. President, which means you could have the president punch out the first lady and just give her exactly what she deserves. I know I brought this game up quite a few times in the past, but I still love playing it and I can never seem to get enough of it. Number three, Def Jam Fight for New York. This is a game all about rapping superstars in the industry and just beating up everyone because apparently rapping equals violence. Well, at least it does in this video game. And there even is their girlfriends thrown into the mix here too. And because they are excellent girlfriends of rappers, well, they know how to take a punch. And boy, do you ever get the punch to crap out of them. Heck, there's even fatalities in this game if you throw them in front of a subway. And I don't know why anyone would want to hurt Carmen Electra so darn much, but you well, know, you get to do it here. And boy, do these girls ever take a good beat. Number two, final fight. You got two girls here. Well, one girl, that is Roxy. She's super hot, wearing a short cut off jeans. And in the Sega CD version, they're not so short. But you also have Poison, who turns out not to be really a girl. Side note here, one time I got a chance to ask Pat the NES Punk what his favorite game to punch a woman was. And he also said Final Fight just because of Poison, as he quickly looked around the room and noticed a whole lot of people dressed in funny outfits. Yeah, this was called a crossdresser back then, where you have a man that tends to dress like a woman. See, they thought that this it was too terrible to have women really getting punched. So they just took a beautiful female model and just said it was a dude just so people wouldn't get terribly offended. You know, just like Super Mario 2 did with Birdo because that's really a dude too. Heck, if you wanted to find a real character that is a girl that used to be a man, well then you might want to check out Rami One Half where you have this cute little redhead with a dark secret that she's also a man. Sometimes, as you run around this action platformer from the TurboGrafx CD, where you punch tigers in the face, take that, tigers. Well, if you come in contact with water, well, you immediately turn into a female, making this the first transgender in video games. Number one, Double Dragon. And why does this game rank so darn highly? No, it's not this girl with a jump rope that tries to whip you with it. No, but she does deserve to be punched in the face too. It's all about your girlfriend here, because if you make it to the final boss in the game in two-player mode, you have to fight your brother to the death to win her over. This means that this game is complete crap, and that means now I mostly just turn on to watch the girl just get hit in the stomach repeatedly because of how terrible she really is. And if you want the best version of it, well, check out the Atari Lynx version. It's zoomed in for the maximum amount of punching a woman in the stomach satisfaction. And that's why it is my number one pick to see a woman get punched. Maybe not in the face for this one specifically, but you guys know what I mean. But of course, that's just my opinion. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time making it. This is one that I wanted to make a heck of a long time ago, and I finally saw my opportunity to put it all together. So if you want a top 10, yet you know no one else in the right mind would make, chances are I will take on that task. So leave me a comment in the comment box down below, and until later, I will you see you again, guys.